Okay, so a lot of other people at this store there are doing the same thing that I'm doing, but let's go over the things that I got. It's $8.99. I didn't mean to pay $8.99 for this one. What's up guys? I just dropped my packages off at the post office. I got a huge sourcing day today. I've got an employee coming in tomorrow and Friday, four hour shifts each. So I need to find some items. We're gonna hopefully get through this day and we're gonna start our drive. I do have to go to the gas station though. So that's definitely something I should have done yesterday, but hey, let's get it. Drink up, girl. First up, I took off my grape pullover and I put on this jacket because it's like freezing in this Goodwill. This is a Kirkland. It's pretty soft, pretty warm, not resellable, but a very nice jacket. Start us off, we got a polo, it's Ralph Lauren. This is a 2XL, just gray, but because it had the big spell out, I decided to go with it. I got three of these Venice Burnout shirts. Uh, it's a Lucky Brand. This one's just a V-neck in medium, but this one's the Henley in medium. And then this is a camo one, size small. These are two twenty nine dollars a piece. Venice Burnout, really good uh, line of Lucky Brand that sells well. This shirt, never seen it before. It's Harley Davidson New York Cafe. It's a short sleeve polo, officially licensed. All these shirts are gonna be $5. This one, one of them sold for like 30 bucks, so pretty surprised about that. This is Adidas short sleeve polos, but they're 3XL. We got like a pinkish red one and then this blue one. Next up, we got a polo Ralph Lauren. This is the sweatshirt. I don't come across these very often. It's cotton and polyester and viscose, which it's a size small, but it's really clean. So I figured I'd go with it. I sold a red one in the past, but not for a whole lot of money, but it was like cotton and much more worn out than that one is. This is a van. It had like the Sons of Anarchy look and it's got the skull and the scythes. Pretty sweet. I think the coolness of it should sell. This was a great pickup. This is Cabela's XLT. This was their base layer, like polar weight is what it's called. And I think the tag, yeah, the tag was on it too. So this is probably like a $40 shirt. These two, never picked them up before, but like really excited about them. I'm not like a Randy Savage fan, but this is his like brand, Randy Savage. And it's a uh, short sleeve button shirt. I think each one of these are like 50, maybe 40 to 50 bucks. This was in the men's section, but it's a women's Wrangler, large short sleeve pearl snap plaid. This one had a really high sell through. I don't go through women's clothes anymore. I used to, it just, it's not something I want to take on right now, but that will sell. This is a cinch long sleeve button shirt. Now it's a blue shirt, but the buttons on it are like purple. So I need to make sure, maybe even note that they're purple in the description because some guys might not want to go for purple buttons. And then this was the first item I found. It's a van size, small classic fit, but it's like, uh, it's kind of like the flannel. It's a heavier weight cotton. So I'll probably put flannel in the uh, title. So pretty good for the first store. Uh, I did take my time and I also found this. I put it on my Instagram. I cut my own hair and I didn't do like the best job on it because I didn't blend the lines properly. You're supposed to like extend the guard, but I found this uh, Oyster. Uh, Oyster is like the Cadillac of clippers. This one it has says adjustable blade. It says Salon Pro and it's got this dial probably for the speed. So I'm going to find, oh no. Oh, you know what? It's not really a dial that goes all the way through. I think it's just the on and off and it's a dial. So uh, Made in USA Oyster, really good. I'm gonna see if it works. And if it does, I'll just buy like some uh, clippers to go on it. But these are like super high end. I'm actually really excited about it. It probably sells for good money too. Uh, the teeth are all there in good shape. So really excited about this. If you guys cut your own hair. You can save, uh, save some money if you learn how to do it. But you know, you gotta be on your game when you do it to make sure you do it right. Hey, how's it going? All right, so we're in the other corner of the store. I get caught up going through the t-shirts. There's a ton in this store. I've got these two John Varvados. Um, this purple one, I saw a comp for like 20 something dollars and then I picked up this black one. I don't really pick up very many short sleeves of these. The Henleys usually do pretty good, but I think those will sell just fine. We've got this RVCA. This is a tank top. Look for these like skater type tank tops. These have a high, high sell through right now. And then I picked up this Orvis. This is the Trout Bum. The Trout Bum is the only line of Orvis that I pick up right now, just because some of the uh, big box stores picked up Orvis. It really lowered the value. A couple pairs of shorts here. This is a Nike Golf, it's blue. They wanted $4, pretty good price. And then this is a Ralph Lauren. It's the Performance One in beige. So I decided to pick it up for five. These are a little discolored. It's the 511 Tactical Cargo Shorts, but these sell really well if there's no holes or anything. And then this is the Duluth Cargo Shorts. And these ones are 
it doesn't say like the flex ballroom but usually that's a good one to pick up these ones just don't have any model but uh duluth and these type of shorts for cargo pants as well do very good so i got a patagonia piece this is a swim trunks it's in gray it's almost like like a bluish gray but it's, it's pretty much gray these are a size small only 249 so it's definitely somebody slipping in the back these swim trunks here were new to me it's called mr swim I saw some like really good comps for Mr. Swim. I've never picked it up, so we're gonna have to find out. I've got two Button Henleys here. This is a Travis Matthew. This is a golf brand, only $2.99. And then this one's a Hollister. It's got like the chunky buttons here. I always think that does a little better. Three bucks, can't really go wrong with something like that. Although they are gonna ship a priority, so it's gonna be a little bit more for the label. So we've got two Ralph Lauren's. This is the Blake. It's a plaid shirt. And then this is another one that's a Blake. And this is the two ply cotton. Same, it's like the gingham plaid, much tighter plaid. They wanted five a piece for these. This purple one's gonna sell for more money just because it's a more unique colorway. And if I see any of the Ralph Lauren's where I haven't seen the color very often, I definitely pick it up. This one's more of like a standard one. Probably make, you know, 20 bucks shipped on that. We've got another Ralph Lauren. This is a standard piece. I was kind of on the fence about it because it's just a plain blue, but it is long sleeve. It's an XL, they want $5. This is probably gonna be real close to over a pound though. And then there's this Banana Republic. It's 100% linen, the Camden shirt, short sleeve, all white. So definitely look for the stains. I think this one's good. This is that KJS brand. This is the one that I told you about. This is a short sleeve polo. I sold a quarter zip recently. It does have an embroider on the front, but still like a $25 shirt. I'm real on the fence with Under Armour. This is an XL. It's a compression shirt and they want $4, but they sell a lot, like a lot, a lot of times. So I decided to buy it. Sometimes they do get returns because people are too big for them. Do you need to go go yeah. on by? Yeah. Just watch out for the tripod. This was a sweet old lady that had to cross by, but I was terrified she was gonna knock over my iPhone 14 Pro. So we've got a Travis Matthew short sleeve polo. This is a men's XL in blue. It's a golf brand, they do pretty well. We've got this Brooks Brothers. This is the performance. It'll say it right there under it, the 1818 performance. It's a slim, pretty decent color. These sell all right. Not like super fast sellers, but they do sell. And last but not least, we have another Ralph Lauren. They wanted $3.99 for this. And this is like a mint green with some stripes. And I'm not used to seeing this one, so I decided to pick it up. If it was a plain green, I would not pick it up. Somebody must have came here before me. So we're not even gonna set the tripod up. But we've got this Quicksilver Waterman's collection, medium for four bucks. This, um, yeah, the white ones were 99 cents. This is just a Ralph Lauren Andrew Short. It's pleated, not the best seller, but for 99 cents, it's doable. Billabong Crossfire for five bucks. It's actually a really good seller. Then we have this uh, Jordan, Oklahoma University. It's a 2XL, and see this one was white as well. Not this tag, but it's down at the bottom. That was 99 cents. Then we have this one, which is a Wrangler XL Longtail, and it's made in the Republic of China, which this tag looks a little different but the pearl snaps look really legit on it. So four bucks, really cool looking color, not bad. And then I got this uh, Piranha shirt, it's 2XL, just like a plaid short sleeve bud shirt, so. Not the best, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes. People get here before you and then you just gotta get whatever you can get and go on to the next one. What's up guys? So I'll put a little uh, photo in, but I just got approached by a viewer. Her name is Lynn. I'm really excited that she came up to me because she's a really nice person. We talked for a minute and then, yeah, she's a reseller, so I had to go fast to make sure she didn't buy up all the good stuff. But thank you, Lynn, for saying hi. It made me feel really good. It made my day. So I'm gonna get started with the stuff that I found at the Salvation Army. First up, I know, I bought a pair of shoes. But if you see this emblem, this is the Travis Matthew emblem. These shoes, a pair of them sold for like $94 free shipping. I'm definitely gonna have to clean them up or I may sell them to my friend who's a shoe seller. But uh, pretty cool. I kind of wish they fit me, man. I love the style of like just gray, like slip-ons. Very classic, very nice. Then my last item that I found just, just a second ago is this Cool Quarter Zip. Cool is a really great brand. It's a little stained, but I think this type of person is like an outdoorsy guy. So he's probably not gonna care. Really cool, I found that. Sticking with the outdoors, I found this pair of North Face pants. It's a size 34. This is like a nylon type or polyester. Uh, really slick, really awesome. We've got this Travis Matthew, just like the shoes, but this is the shirt. This is the emblem with the M, and then it has Top Golf for Texas. So Top Golf, super popular. Maybe an employee will buy this. It does have a little hole on the sleeve, but for 250, I think it's okay. I went with a couple Ralph Lawrence. These are solid. This one was 250. It's an XL. It's a custom fit gray. This one right here, it's a Brooks Brothers. This is the Performance size large and maroon. They want 
350 for this. Everything's half off at the Salvation Army. If you guys can find thrift stores that have like the discount days and stuff, those are the ones you're gonna wanna go to. So we got this Prana, it's a short sleeve plaid shirt. It's a size large, it's like this beige color. They want 350 for this. I usually pick up Prana because they do decently well, just like most of my items. Nothing like too crazy, but they're consistent sellers. We've got this Brooks Brothers Milano. This says made in USA. I thought it was linen with the way the cotton feels. It's called the America Supima cotton. I don't know, something special about this. I think it's gonna be a good one. We have a Banana Republic. This is 100% linen. It's the untucked standard fit in blue. Anything 100% linen, especially spring, summer, I'm looking up. This one is the Lux Flannel Slim Fit. Size small, all these are 350, so I'm feeling pretty confident. They may have to wait till like the fall, but they're gonna sell. Again, another Lux Flannel. This one's a blue plaid. The only bad thing about these is they're size smalls, which may take a little longer to sell, but there's small people out there that need flannel. Last but not least, the tried and true Ralph Lauren Blake XL green plaid. Really nice piece here, long sleeve button shirt, and they want 350. I'm gonna get in line and check out and head to the next store. All right, just a couple items here. I'm actually waiting in line, so we're gonna talk about them here. This is a pair of Gustin jeans. Gustin. They want 15 bucks for them, but Gustin is like really expensive. You can kind of tell just because the denim looks like a little bit different. It looks just like, it just looks different. So you want to look it up, but I've sold these in the past. They have a really strong sell through and they're gonna go for quite a bit of money. So I'm okay paying the 15. Also got a pair of um, Vertex. Vertex is a, um, it's like a tactical brand. You can kind of see on the button there. It's a really, um, it's a strong seller. For that model, they're zero listed with four sold and they're like 40 to 50 bucks. And they want $10 for that one. They probably just thought it was like a standard pant or something. And then I got, I only got like seven items, but. I got this uh, Ralph Lauren, it's a long sleeve green. This one's the Made in USA, so it's the vintage one is the only reason I got it. If it was the newer one, I wouldn't have gotten it. And they wanted um, $4.99 for that one. I got this Johnston & Murray. It's a long sleeve button shirt. I'm getting called in line. Oh yeah, somebody else is in front of me. So Johnston & Murphy 2XL, uh, decent enough. That size and that plaid will work. This one is a ball leaf. I think it's a tennis brand. These are 2XL pants, or it might be cycling. All right, I'm getting called to the end. And then I got a uh, Murano Beard McNutt long sleeve. It's a uh, linen and it's purple. And then I also got a 32 bars blue. It's a size small and it's a gray. So that one's linen as well. Okay, so a lot of other people at the store there are doing the same thing that I'm doing, but let's go over the things that I got. First up, we got this Bonobo short sleeve button shirt all over print, pretty nice. I'm going heavy on Bonobos just because it's like a little bit better quality and the sell through seems to be about 100% on a lot of stuff. So I got two of those. This is the second one I got, it's blue, same kind of all over print. It's a uh, large slim fit, they wanted $4. I've never found this brand before, it's called Stubbs. It's like a Western brand, it has these nice like buttons on it. This is an all red, they wanted seven bucks for this, but I saw some sell for pretty good money, so I'm going with it. I think I should get about 40 bucks for that one. This is James Pierce. James Pierce is a really good brand. I've sold like their polos before in the past. This is a long sleeve shirt. It got discounted because everyone passed it up. It's a size three, which should be like a size large or extra large, I think. Definitely gonna be able to sell that for like $25. Agave, I've talked about this in the past. It also slipped down to the discount of $2. It's an XL, really easy seller on these. Here's a Ralph Lauren, 2XL. It dropped down to $249. It's just a long sleeve blue shirt, but it's got the blue pony on it as well. And then I got a bunch of board shorts and I got this pair of Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren, this is the uh, six inch chino short. The six inch seems to be like the more popular style. This one is pink though, so it may take a little longer to sell, but I think I can sell it for 25. This right here is a uh, Quicksilver. So yeah, this is a Quicksilver. So when it comes to these board shorts, to be in pretty good condition and they have to be about $4 or less for me to pick them up. Oh yeah, O'Neal is another one of those. This is $2.49, really clean, really nice colors. You wanna go with like the bright ones, but you also can go with like the blacks because a lot of people buy the black ones. This is a Volcom. It's got that awesome look. This was $1.29 right here. Probably the coolest one I picked up. This is a, this is a DC Comics, it's the Joker. They only wanted $2. This one should sell closer to 30 bucks. This is an O'Neill one for uh, $2. It's black, got some striping and some green on it. Right here, we have another O'Neill. This is the Hyper Freak. If you guys see Hyper Freak, it's gonna be like a little bit better money. And this was a size 34. They had one that was a size 40 and they wanted $5 for it, but I passed because 40 is just not as common as like a 32, 34, 36. This is Maui and Sons. I've, quit, I've picked up quite a bit of Maui and Sons in the past. 
and this seems like that bright enough color to get the sale. In this store, the board shorts are priced really well. Some of the other shirts are just priced a little too high for me to pick up. You've got to like figure out which stores have like the advantages in certain categories and hit those hard. I didn't go through the t-shirts because there's already a bunch of resellers that have been looking through them or that are currently looking through them right now. So we're gonna hit the other store, see if we can find some more stuff. All right, we're gonna do like out of the trunk thrift haul. One thing that's happened is a lot of people are starting to do this business and sometimes you go to a thrift store and all the button ups or all the polos, the things I like to buy and sell just aren't really there. So you have to go through the other categories like the board shorts, the shorts. Uh, that's the only other two I really like to sell. So that's what I went through and I went like one by one. Usually I don't do that. Sometimes I kind of sift through them. But if you go one by one, you can really narrow in. And I found a couple brands here that I have not found in either a really long time and a couple I don't think I found at all. So let's get straight into it. We're gonna start with these shoes. These are Sanuk. It's a size 14. These are only 343. Really good brand. It's kind of a sleeper. A lot of people don't know about it. There's the logo like, like right there. Next up, we got this Minimus. This is a New Balance shoe. So they wanted $12.12 for these. These can sell anywhere from like 50 to $70. This is a really clean pair. Like it obviously wasn't used. A lot of people will buy these and they don't like how they feel. And then they just don't end up wearing them. So they donate them. But yeah, Minimus is still a shoe I will buy. It's really lightweight too. All right, then we've got this Cooley Bar. Cooley Bar is a pretty good brand. A lot of people don't like recognize it. This is like a $24 polo. It was only three bucks. So I felt good about that. This was a cinch. It's a white XL. Now it's only $1.41 because it has this stain on the front. But if you use... Uh, white vinegar and some like laundry soap or just soap it'll come out pretty easy this one here is the most expensive item i bought it was a 6.99 ralph lauren it's a 2xl blue plaid and it's got the flesh pony so these kind of shirts at seven bucks it's really kind of close but for 2xl i think that's going to bring enough money to make it uh doable but if it's like a solid color at seven bucks i personally don't buy that next we have this billabong this is the crossfire crossfire sub submersible submersibles anyway i've picked up a couple of these before these are pretty strong sellers it's close to 100 percent sell through next up this is a uh, bears grills so crag hopper if you've guys seen that that's bear grills's uh brand bear grills is the survival guy he's the british guy he's the tough guy these were only four dollars and they're not the cargo ones but still this is just a high quality it's like super popular i mean he's not as popular as he once was but he's still really popular so an easy seller there these were a new one for me. It's Ralph Lauren, and these are actually like a tennis short. So they have this adjustable waist. I saw one of these go for like 35 bucks. It's white, so I looked really closely. There's a little bit of a mark here, but it's not too terrible. And it's got the pony on the front. So that's like the straight up country club look, and I think it's gonna be an easy seller. This shirt right here, I saw one go for 50 bucks. This is like the vintage Mossimo. This is the vintage it's the vintage mossy oak and it is washed out the colors are kind of bled like not the greatest of shape but i think somebody's gonna pay good money for these the comps were kind of hard to like narrow in but i saw one of them sell for like 49 50 bucks this right here is southern tide it's a great brand this one is actually one of their more expensive shorts and i saw some of these i think it was like 30 bucks and i also paid 6.99 for this just because it was a strong seller Got a couple of the green camo cargo. This is Levi's workwear, $249. There are some stains on it, but the guy that's wearing this is probably like a hunter fisherman. He's not gonna care about the stains. Size 38, easy pickup, but it is over a pound, so it's priority shipping. Next, we got tried and true Hollister cargo shorts. It's got the button fly. Green's a really good color for this. I've sold the blue ones, I've sold the pink ones, I've sold the camo ones, those are the best ones. These are still gonna sell pretty good. Four bucks, no problemo. Then we've got American Eagle Camo Cargo, $4. It's a size 30, so unfortunately it's not like that 34, 36 size, but still really good on the camo. They're gonna sell a lot this summer. People love that look. Next up, this is the one I'd never found before. If you look at the tag, it's called Heloc Tech, designed in Poland. So when I saw designed in Poland, I knew I needed to look it up. They wanted $6.99 for this. I guess I paid $69 for a few items, but this one is a strong seller. Anything made in like Poland, Netherlands, um, uh, those types of countries that are like, let's just call it like wealthy kind of countries, you know, they're not like 
poor third world type countries if you find clothes made in those countries definitely look them up a lot of the sweaters in some of those places the nordic stuff it's going to sell for good money those shorts had a pretty good pretty good number on them i think it was like 30 35 bucks but i was impressed because i've never found it before and i was really excited about it here's another billabong submissibles i think it's submissibles these you know really clean four dollars you can't really go wrong i think it's close to 100 percent sell through rate ah one of my favorite brands this is fair tea i've never found this one it's like their hoodie it's an xl i never find this brand in a medium like never ever find it in a medium and it kind of is driving me insane we've got the amazon uniform zip vest it's the 2xl 3xl this is probably really good money i'd even look it up at two dollars most amazon products hands down gonna sell then we've got the dc superman so i picked up the joker earlier and now i got the superman size large 249 i didn't even look it up i mean look at clark kent with the surfboard it's it's a hands down like some things are just too cool not to sell right then we've got the royal robins royal robins really good brand this is just a plain standard fit i don't think it's silk or anything like that but at five dollars yeah it's the modal uh polyester blend so not too bad it should do just fine I picked up this 511 Tactical. This is actually a men's medium, and it's got the like faux button, but it's actually a snap. So when you're putting it in for closure, you want snap, but you can put faux button in the title. It's $8.99. I didn't mean to pay $8.99 for this one. I thought it was half off, but um, uh, well, $8.99 is like pushing it for this. It should still profit some money, but yeah, nine bucks for a shirt, not really where I want to be. Oh, that's okay though. You know, that kind of stuff happens. At least it doesn't have like a massive hole in it. We've got a Ralph Lauren. This is a Blake. It's a men's large. And this one is a short sleeve button shirt in orange. You know, not too bad. It's actually kind of a peachish orange, but I'm going to put orange in the color. Last up is going to be the Quicksilver Waterman collection. 149. I wonder if this has an issue with it. Sometimes when they price it that low, there might be an issue, but at the same time, I didn't see one, so I think we're good here. Quicksilver Waterman is one of those lines that like the shorts sometimes do well if it's like the corduroy. Um, I'm pretty confident at $1.49 I can make some money on this, and I'm pretty happy to pick that up. So that's all I've got for now. This is probably the end of the video. I'm gonna end up getting dinner. I'm gonna probably get the victory cone because it's been one of those days. I I don't know. I may have gotten like 125 items. Definitely not where I need to be, but I'm going to develop some new routes and I'm going to have my worker help me process these tomorrow. So I'm really excited. Hopefully I can kind of tell you about how like all that's going. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, do all the things and I'll see you next time. Bye.